can see before I brought that rod in um, getting a lot of liners that right rod I just pulled the line a little bit to see if to say it on the end but it is looking great in this spot probably fish in the area to be honest one of them's got to go surely There's a bit of weed out there. Didn't really find any clear spots to be honest. Swan's back. After a bit of grub. And those rods and just swan. Liners there, I'm not sure what that is.
if you like that. Finally rods are out, uh, been fishing a couple of hours now, just thought I'd show you the swimming area that I'm fishing, it's looking really good, it's a nice day today, wind pushing in, uh, I've had a lot of occurrences, liners and that, I think it's either weed or fish that are short, that are hitting the line or what, I'm not exactly sure, um, but it is looking really good, so I just thought I'd show you where I am, just fishing uh, just out in front, not too far. Yeah, there was, a, there was a guy this morning that had a few tench, like first light and that, so uh, managed to slot in here. There's a, work, a lot of room on the lake. You can see it's looking really nice. So yeah, I'll just show you that, where I'm fishing now. Hopefully get a bite. So yeah, basically I've just got the rods about 30, 40 yards. Just where them lilies are right in front, just one to the left and then just to the right. When I first turned up there was a, a tench that bobbed its head out. There was a guy in here that had a few tench this morning, first light. So there weren't many spaces so I just slotted in here. As I say it's quite weedy out there. Not really long weed, but there is weed, that's why I opted for the chod rig on the right. Still got a wafter on the left, uh, might change that, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's looking really good as you can see. So yeah, I'll update you in a bit. And I'll uh, show you that chod setup. So if I get one, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, I'm back down on grey mist. Uh, again, really busy today. I just thought I'd do a quick video of the little change that I've had on one of the rods. I uh, decided to go on a chod setup. I uh, just thought I'd try something slightly different, see if it can get me a bite. Uh, I just wanted to go through that now, uh, just to show you. I said I was using the hinge stiff rig. And then the, um, the German rig on the other on the other rod. So I've just had a slight change. Just go through that now. I did say I was going to um, order some leads, and they came through, so that was good. Um, to show you them, it's from uh, Taylor's Lead Lounge. Uh, got them online. Um, good service, um, good packaging, uh, good quality lead. So if you go on the website and have a look, um, do a variety of leads there. I saw them at show, so um, mean, meaning to order them for a long time, but never did. But I managed to sort that out anyway. So I've got um, I think that's a weed green one and a half ounce lead there, um, and then I've got the avid stuff on the uh, the end tackle. So that's a uh, the avid chad buffer at the bottom, and then further up there I've just got the, the chad bead, which is avid again. Uh, the little ball slides on there if you just wet that. And then further up where the rig is, I've got a naked sliding safety bead. Again, that just fixes on with a ball on the end. And that allows that chod section to slide up and down to whatever, wherever it settles. And then uh, again, I've got another another bead at the top with a ball on the end there so if that can slide off if there's any breakages or anything that's all safe hook bait I've gone for slightly bigger just gone for that red cell uh, that's the chod hook size 4 so I'm going to get this out now and see what happens just 
to like show you that first. On the other rod I've just kept on the German rig at the bottom. Um, so I'm going to get these rods out now quickly. Um, put a few baits around each rod. Probably 20-30 baits. And then uh, sit back and uh, see. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, I've just seen a couple of carp come out just off there, put up about 10-15 boilies so I might put a chad over there and see what happens let's move that rod it's in like three shows now right I'm going to move that right rod this is where I've seen that fish change over the left hand rod from the German rig to another to a hinge stiff rig. Um, I was getting a lot of indication on the on the bobbins there and uh, I think it was a weed actually because every time I reeled in there was a uh, weed all the way up the line so I wasn't sure if I was uh, fishing effectively or not. So I was confident at the start but I didn't find anything pretty clear out there really or silt or smooth it was it was a bit weedy but that's, that's again that's why I went for that chod rig uh, but nothing happened so yeah until next time hope you enjoyed again this video and uh, I'll uh, see you on the next one thanks for watching see you later